Good morning, my friends. Well, today is Friday. Today is another great day to be alive. I have two things real fast. I want to wish two happy birthdays to two of my friends. First, Preemie. Happy birthday, Preemie. Second one is my friend Cora. Happy birthday, Cora. I am so proud of you. You're the longest cashier at Home Depot West Hartford now. You do an awesome job every day. I hope you feel better. I know you were not feeling well yesterday. And thank you for being my friend, Cora. Thank you for the food, too, once in a while. All right. Now, this message basically is a hard one. I'm learning it. Sometimes I forget and I doubt myself. But as I talk with my friend, Mr. Wade, I'm sorry, Mr. Wilson, and I go, well, can I use you as a... I go, Susan, you don't need me as a reference. You've got you. And I sat there and I go, you know, you're right. I'm a very good salesperson. I'm also a very good motivational speaker. And I shouldn't doubt myself because I am an awesome person. And I know whatever I want to do, I will get there. It just may take me a little longer, but I will get there. So never doubt yourself. The second thing is if you have a job and you're not sure you want to go higher and you have a disability, first get together with your counselor. And, but before you do that, sit down, make a blueprint out of what you want to do or plans. And then if you have to, and like I remember I read in an article, it was in the 80s, before all this technology came out, there was a police officer in New York. He had written dyslexia like me. He couldn't write. His writing was worse. So the police department had a machine that you talked into. Like now we talk into the phones, but this was before that. And then when I worked in the training center to help blind people become operators of their own cafeterias, we had talking cashiers, cashiers, machines. And... We had something you put the money in, it would tell you what it was in case you couldn't see it. So there are tools and things out there if you have disabilities and want to go farther. But you have to sit down with a counselor or somebody and talk what you want to do in the future. You have to have your goals and things set before you go into that meeting to be more productive. But there's nothing you can't do as long as you have the guts to do it. And if you fall, that's okay, because you, you get caught, you catch yourself. And there's a lot of support groups. There's a lot more stuff out there than when I was a kid. So you can do it if you want. That's the good thing about America. We give people chances. All right. I love you, my friends. I will talk to you later. Auntie Sue.